We showed you first at five the president ordering an end to family separations at the southern border and the crisis at the border started, of course, with many people trying to find their way in illegally and others seeking asylum here in the U.S., something that also happens here at the northern border. Channel 2's Claudine Ewing sat down with someone who is dealing with these cases as we speak. Asylum seekers often come here to Buffalo because we have several port of entries. And these are some of the, the busiest ports of entry on the northern border. The law says if a person has a fear of return to their native country, they can go to a port of entry like the Peace Bridge. They're entitled to a review to see if they can go before an immigration judge. Are there people coming here from Latin America? Absolutely. There's uh, a number of individuals that um, come up uh, from Central America, Mexico, et cetera, uh, to the Western New York area. They're working on our farms. And on construction sites. But here, they aren't always sneaking into the U.S. Why people are actually seeking asylum and not doing it legally? If you are fleeing for your life, the last thing that you're thinking about is filling out paperwork. And local immigration attorney Matthew Colkin has clients in that category. I have clients that literally fled their country with nothing but the shirts on their back. Colkin is currently handling 20 to 30 asylum cases here in Western New York. People seek asylum based on race, religion, politics, or because they're a member of a certain particular social group. Once here, they can present their case, and if granted asylum, they become refugees, which allows them to stay here. After a year, they can apply to get a green card. We've seen the ceremonies where they become citizens. Wednesday is International Refugee Day. This man came to the U.S. as a refugee at the age of 10 from West Africa. His family was fleeing a civil war. Living here now, he understands the concern of asylum seekers. Not having your family members there to adjust would have made it a hundred times harder for me. Um, so I seen everything that's going on today, you know, with kids being um, separated from their family. Um, I think it's a great mistake that the United States is doing um, because it, it really does hinder the growth of these children. Colkin says Buffalo is a hotbed for asylum outside of New York City because if you're encountered by Border Patrol, you're going to end up in immigration court here in Buffalo. And we tried getting some hard numbers on how many people are seeking asylum, but U.S. Customs and Border Protection does not have a breakdown of statistics at our port of entries that they would release at this time. But that, that is something that we're efforting to try and get because they do have a lot of numbers for what's happening at the southern borders. But really for what's happening here, they just didn't have those numbers available to us when we last checked in with them a few minutes ago. Yeah, we know over the past few months it has been hundreds of thousands coming across the southern border, right. but I don't think it's anything like that. Of course, you have a river to cross on this end, right. and it's a little bit more difficult. Right, and one of the things they're also saying is that here people are trying to do it legally, not illegally. Interesting. Well, interesting report. Thank you, Claudine.